Oh, oh, be brave, Planty Mush. Oh, just a little bit further. Oh, hello, everyone. It's your good friend, Planty Mush himself. Here, once again, in the National Guard training ground, because, uh, look, people have been marching him to his death nonstop, okay? Whether it's Paladin Dance, or Preston Garvey saying, get in this power armor and fight these raiders, or now, a science man. Uh, look, if he's gonna get marched to his death, he's absolutely gonna do it in the name of science! So that's exactly what we're doing today. We're going to carry on with uh, the quest for our new best friend, Mr. Jack Cabot, who has all sorts of scientific discoveries. Maybe once we've proven ourselves, uh, maybe he'll trust Planty Bush. And they could be good friends and they could work together on science. Firstly, uh, of course, uh, as, as we normally do here, messages from the Pip-Boy. Uh, there was a message on the Pip-Boy that said, Sweet little Mabel dog. Sweet little Mabel dog can wear. Hold on. Boom. Oh my god! <laughs> John Lennon looking ass can wear the goggles. Thank you. That's very, very important. We need to swap out her armor at some point for more sciencey armor. Maybe we could craft some armor. But as you might remember, our little Mabel dog is a a scientific marvel of a creature. Something that he's keeping around to study because she is absolutely unkillable and seemingly heals from any injury. Including enormous nuclear explosions. Bear in mind, cars in the Fallout universe run on nuclear fuel, right? So they're all nuclear explosions when you think about it. Uh, somebody, uh, lots of people pointed out uh, on, of course, the Pit Boy messages. Um, is that a raider? Oh! Who's that? I'm not close enough to be able to interact. We got a little bit closer. Is that a raider? Is that even a human being? What is that? Oh, it is. No, it's a mannequin. I think we've been tricked. Aha! You will never get past his... What's he got? Like six? Perception? Watchtower Hotel. Oh, well, have a quick look. Jesus. I was about to light her up. Uh... uh he hello? Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, it's like a little safe area. Oh my god, look at this. This is lovely. Well, we're absolutely going to be robbing this place blind. Gamma rounds. What the hell are gamma rounds, eh? Okay. Oh, well, this is lovely. This is actually so... Fusion cells! My god! What was I talking about before? Um, I don't remember. I'm sure it wasn't super relevant. The other thing that a lot... Oh, sorry. Yes, the radio signal. Uh, lots of messages on the... What's that? Wow, well, the dog's got it covered. Whatever the hell it is. Lots of messages on the um, Pip-Boy saying... You should pursue the radio signal that you found yesterday. And I think that's a big brain play. And we'll definitely be doing something about that. Uh, here's the other thing we need to do. This this weapon is amazing, right? It's from um, a mod that adds some Fallout 2. This is a Fallout 2 weapon, right? Uh, it's Fallout 4. Uh, it's very, very powerful. It was a lucky drop. And we need to conserve our ammo. Because we've only got 13, uh, 31 cells left. Somebody did say, uh, just keep it a nice backup weapon, you know? I like the shotgun. I like the shotgun, me personally. It's not a planty mush weapon, is it? But we've got a pistol. That seems a bit better. Oh, armor piercing too. Hello. It's nowhere near as good as the old boy pistol. But why don't we put this on... Let's put that on three. That on two. Let's put the stim packs on one. That seems good. Because I think we've picked up some stim packs at this point, right? I think that works quite well. Oh, no. You know what? I'm going to take a right away. That way we're not wasting that stim pack. There you go. There you go. We're good. Oh! Oh! Just, just, just keep, just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. How many shots does it take to kill a little bug? Those were armor-piercing rounds. I did say armor-piercing, right? I didn't misread that. Armor-piercing compensated. Oh, it's an auto piercing. I don't like automatic weapons. Far too difficult to aim. Oh god, there's actually a lot of bugs. Okay, be, just be, just be careful. Just be careful. They poison. Be careful. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh. Okay, just... Jesus, I cannot I cannot do automated weaponry. I'm sorry. Planty Mush I just doesn't have the arm strength for it. You can't, you can't compensate for the recoil. At least with Plasma, I've got to worry about that type of thing. <laughs> so we need to get some fusion cells. That's on our to-do list. Lots of people saying Planty Mush is very good at, uh, at shooting. He's got very high agility. For a high agility, high perception, good luck. And high intelligence. You know, all the things you would need to aim a gun, I think. Do a little triangulating. Do a good, good little speed behind those quick draws as well. Obviously, with these glasses, he could see uh, a pin drop from a mile away. He's a very perceptive little guy. How far are we walking here? Shall I just jump to when we get there? Oh, we're like right around the corner. Okay, maybe we should stick to the roads. Oh, dear. Should probably be pinging some of these sites as well, just so that we got 
better fast travel location. Yeah, so Planty knows where to come. Let me just, like, go and walk up to this thing and just, like, tick it off. We just don't want to get shot at or killed or murdered or any... any. Oh, it's raiders. Okay, okay. Oh, is that a raider? Forged. Fuck knows what that is, but they had a big skull next to their name, and I think that's good enough for Planty and Mush to walk away. That's the best part about having 10 intelligence. You can read what the pit boy is telling you. Okay, it's all, it's all very much in-game. Come along. Come along, little woofty. What's the, what's diegetic except for, like, in-game? In what am I looking for there? L Ludo narrative. It's all Ludo narrative uh, UI stuff. What we see on the UI. Planty Mush sees on the... Deirdre. I think they're ghouls. What we see on the UI is, uh, of course, what Planty Mush sees. The slog. Okay, we'll worry about that later, if that's okay. So we all, it all makes perfect sense. We can see it's a strong enemy. He can see it's a strong enemy. And he's an intelligent little fella. Oh, I don't really fancy going for a swim. What is that? Legendary glowing bo bloat flight. Nah. <laughs> nah. Little buffy. Oh, heckin' Borfo. Okay, then we might need the fusion cell for this. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. What a legendary glowing blow fight. We're not, we're not about this. Oh, Jesus, it's fast. Oh, Lord. Okay, keep dodging. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. It's mutated. Great, great, great shot. Great shot. Hold on. Stadl. Go. Oh, dear. And I just talked about how accurate and good he was with shooting. Okay, hold on. Back up, back up, back up. Get the ghouls to help. Uh, excuse me. Could uh, please help? Please help. I'm sorry. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Don't uh, watch out. Ooh, shit. Okay. <laughs> that was close. We might come out of this battle dead. So let's just load up on a bunch of stuff. Mystery bacon. Scroll on a stick. Whatever. Okay, go. Guys, oh, me pressing fucking... Did you see that? Just press control to try and, try and dodge. That was nuts. That was nuts. You're not wrong. That was nuts. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We're in some real trouble thank here. Thank you. I hope you can help. I'll, I'll help you. I don't know what we're going to do. I'll help you. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll come. Uh, bye. Very uh, busy. You're a busy guy. Well, that was good. That was good. He almost had his whole career ended by an enormous fly. <laughs> you got to play it close to the line, okay? Uh, ooh. Hello. What have we got in here, then? Uh, faded visor. No, thank you. Hot plate. Right. That was a comment I saw. Oh, dog food. Oh, great day, little Mabel. Somebody said that hot plates are worth their weight in gold. And, uh, they haven't got any weight because of Planty Mush's superpower. Oh, little jet. Hello. So that's actually, like, really good. Definitely keep an eye out for hot plates. Thank you. What about, like, coffee pots? Are those good? Iguana soup. We'll be taking that one. And that's, uh, that's all we got. That's the type of stuff that's very useful. You know, if there's any important crafting materials, because that's going to be where Planty Bush comes into his own, crafting a bunch of really great scientific marvels and mis mysteries. Um, is that a fucking death claw? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Go back over the river. Ah. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to swim. <laughs> I think we're going to swim after all. You know how I said he didn't want to swim? If we, for some reason, he's changed his mind, actually. For some reason, he's very much changed his mind. This is the way to go, yes? Supposed to cross that bridge. Nah. Nah, that's okay. Oh. Okay, okay, just keep your head above the water. Nothing can hurt you, Planty. Nothing can hurt you, Planty Mush. As long as you can't see it, it can't hurt you. It might as well not be there. Come along, little warfer. Heck, heck and buffo. Okay, she's, she's coming in her own time. She's invincible. She's unkillable, okay? I don't know what. Planty Bush needs to worry about himself. He needs to accept it at this point. He's seen her be shot, shot with missiles, shot with, uh, had grenades thrown at her, lit on fire. She's unkillable. She cannot die. Okay, here we are. Wow, this is horrifying, isn't it? Very scary. Huh. It appears they have some sort of, uh, lightning channel device for, uh, 3.6 gigawatts. Uh, oh, hello there. I'm Planty Bush. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. I have Edwin, uh, Edward Deegan send me. Oh, you're the new guy. <laughs> so this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The 
guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Uh, uh, the Raiders? Sure, assholes with guns. Though it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're gonna finally get rid of them. Why are you sending? You sending this guy? Look at you. You're built like a tank, and you're sending this little, uh, sweet little boy. This sweet little fella. Oh lord. Okay. Just don't bring any trouble down on They've us. got like a private militia out here, and they're sending sweet little blanty mush. That, that, that's what's a, a big problem with this quest. They should have looked at this guy. They should have said, "Oh, you've got one endurance and ten intelligence. Maybe you're not the right man for the job." I get it. Nobody. Uh, nobody wants to be locked out of a quest because of the uh, incredible character that they've designed. <laughs> Simultaneously, who the hell looks at this guy and thinks, yeah, he's the right one for the job. This might be a call for Old Faithful. Well, let's be careful. You an improved plasma blaster. What is going on in here? Little radio. Old Lady Abernathy's listening to uh, her favorite tunes. The window's open. Radio's, radio's cracked. Window's on. Ah... Uh. Hello. Come along, old Borfo. I need you to hold, pin them down so we can actually shoot them accurately. Unless the panic sets in, the, adre the adrenaline gets in, you know. That's that's when he can be the, the stone-cold killer they need him to be. The Parsons Creamery. They're fighting. They're fighting one another. They're fighting one another. Good work, planting. What? What is this package? Because they've all been saying package in inverted commas. Do you think it's just like mentats? What do you think it is? Some sort of sciency package. Remember, we're good at sneaking. Good at sneaking. So use that to your advantage. <laughs> uh, unnecessary violence. Uh. Planty. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Nice. I was really worried all of those shots were going to hit the wall then. We we're going to waste a lot of ammo. Uh, hello. I am not afraid of you. Uh. Oh, there we go. Hello. Oh, mysterious serum. Oh, rads minus 36,000. Strength of five. Oh, well, let's get that injected then, huh? <laughs> what else have we got here? Leather armor shadowed. Makes you move. Uh, stealthily. St stealthily? -er? What's the word I'm looking for there? Um, shadowed? What does shadowed actually do? It doesn't matter. It's good. We're definitely taking that. Um, okay, cool. Let's dump that one. Red armor, left leg. Metal armor. Uh, let's drop that. Actually, was that worth something? Because it had some sort of, like, benefit to it. Excuse me. Oh. Seemed to have dropped my armor and now it's disappeared off the face of the earth. You know what? It doesn't really matter to it. Just hold on to everything. I don't know why I'm dropping stuff. I'm trying to do a little bit of inventory management on the fly. There's no need. Unless we're over encumbered. There's no, we might as well just take everything, right? Tabletop picture frame. Oh, that's lovely. We do a lot with that. Oh. Planty Mush's big brain coming into play there. Little, little subway token. Little uh, toothpaste. Very nice to have in the apocalypse. This is what nobody ever brings up. Oh, actually, let's take these crafting materials too. Nobody ever mentions that, do they, in the post-apocalypse? These people all have stinky, stinky breath. Atrociously stinky breath. I suppose they're also eating less processed food. So that would be a benefit. Have we... Is that all of them dealt with then? Oh, well, he said he was going to do a job. Uh, hello? What happened to the other person that that other lady shot? There was another person, right? We heard them wasting ammo. Okay, well, we'll find it. Oh! Planty, you seem to have attracted the horde. Deflated kickball. Toy rocket ship. He's taking that one. That's for his own personal uh, personal enjoyment. That's his special interest. Hold on. What have we got in here? What's in this cooler? Oh, medics. Medics that I can't really get to. Oh! Oh, you don't want to fight. Oh! Immediately got crippled in the head. Brilliant. <laughs> right, hold on. Uh, have we got any sort of grenade? Maybe a Molotov might be better just as kind of a um, 
distraction more than anything else. Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on. They're shooting. They're shooting. How can they see us? How can they see us? Where the fuck are they coming from? Where are these shots coming from? Okay, but it doesn't really matter too much, does it? The point is they're coming from somewhere. What is that? What am I looking at? Is that a man? What is that? Get out of here! Well, turns out they're the same idea. Okay, we got to make these shots count with this gun. Oh, no! Shit. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to do that. <laughs> Be gone! Oh! Okay, maybe that stim pack wasn't such a bad idea then in hindsight. Oh, God, we're out of stim packs again. Okay, sorry. This is messy. This is a messy encounter right here. Right, let's take a, take a blood pack. Let's take a delicious... Yao Guai meat. You could then get, like, strength bonuses, right? Oh, God. Let's just eat some irradiated blood. I'm trying to fucking... <laughs> Shit. Take the shot. Just build up the critical bar. Okay, and and then we'll pop that, pop that, pop, pop, pop that. There you go. They're on the stairs, right? Hold on. Wait for the action points to increase. We've got a plan. Plan so much has a plan. He's a big brain. He's he's formulating. Okay. Now we do one of those. Come on. Just take him out. Nice! That's what I was hoping for. That. Big brain. Oh, there's a person there. Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> big brain except for the fact that I missed the other very obvious enemy. <laughs> right, let's not waste too much ammo. A long distance. Using that other gun is a horrible idea. Where are they? There they are. Somewhere in there, anyway. Hello? I don't want to hurt you. Please, just let me and my doggo go. Oh, God. Well, we're certainly hitting something. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Oh, there you are. Jesus. Okay, this might take a second. Please, please stand by. We need, like a, we need a, a rifle. Or to make this pistol single shot. I feel like I could do more with that. Okay. That was big brain. You know, I thought if we can get them down low enough health that we can get the critical to take them out in one go, that would work great. And I think it did. Oh, I'll take a hunting rifle for sure. What did you have then? Oh. <gasps> Leather left arm of the chameleon. Enemies have a harder time detecting you while you're sneaky and not moving. Oh! That is a thing of beauty. That is exactly what I wanted. Any sneak benefits are very glad to see. So, oh, people were saying that, that what this means is weight in the tab. So, I guess this is a rounding issue there somewhere. Weight in this current tab, overall weight, and then, and then your maximum weight capacity, right? So, we could probably just take a bunch of this stuff and go sell it. I think that might be the right idea. We'll probably go back to uh, Diamond City. What have you got for me? Yellow flight hammer. We'll take that. You know what? Again, straight up loot everything. Can we not see our weight at a glance? That's a little annoying. I was hoping when we were hovering over them, it might say our current weight so that we could plan things out accordingly. Just do something like that then. Again, take it all. We'll just sell the lot. That's fine. No bother. I need to get into that bit of picking up everything that counts as... Like, what is this? Is this something we can break down? Does that have a weight associated with it because of the mod? I'm not sure. Okay. Honestly, that wasn't as messy as I thought. Very happy with how the legendary raider was dealt with, given that they were doing a shitload of damage. My god, that could have ended badly. Hello! Hunting rifle, metal armor, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's put some of this on then. So we want that. Definitely want that. Uh, more ballistic damage. Honestly, I'm leaning towards ballistic damage. Oh, sorry. Ballistic defense, obviously. You knew what I meant. Um, just simply based on us finding nobody so far who's done any meaningful laser damage. Metal armor left leg. Same story, isn't it, really? So, shadowed. I don't know what shadowed does. Is there somewhere I can find out? Shadowed leather. Oh, it's just the color of it. Oh, right. Um, so leaded is the important thing. Does that increase the weight massively? Not really, no. Again, we'll throw on the metal armor, because I imagine, at least in this early game, we're going to be fighting a lot of... Um, I feel like we're going to be fighting almost exclusively ballistics enemies, right? So gas mask, gas mask with goggles. I think we'll make him look too scary. I don't think he wants that. You don't understand that, like... It's valuable to have this stuff for if we're going into the wasteland. No, see, that... That's mid-game. That's mid-game Planty Mush when he's, uh, you know, come to terms with this world and the cruelty 
and everything associated with it. Right now, he hasn't got the confidence to wear a mask like that. That's the important part. We're going to have to... I think we go back to Diamond City for now. We're going to limp all the way back carefully. Let's buy some fusion cells to save for the uh, for, for the frightening enemies. Let's buy a ballistic weapon, like a, like a, a rifle, a long-range ballistic weapon, because that plasma gun is really good at close range. Or more specifically, it's so inaccurate, we don't want to use it at long range, right? It's, uh, especially with the ammo being quite hard to find right now. I'm sure we can craft our own eventually. Oh, you've arrived at a very bad time here, Planty Mush. I'm sure Commonwealth Weaponry will sell some laser bullets. I'd be very surprised if they don't. Okay. Uh, where is everyone? What sort of people don't wake up till 11 a.m.? Am I right? Arturo, the new guy. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm new. Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Uh, okay, I need uh, laser bullets. Everything hand-tooled. Oh, well, that's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> Everything hand-tooled, uh, including... Ooh, fusion cores. We need those for that quest. Fusion cells. I know we'll find them out in the wild, but maybe we want to get it done early. 540 caps. Jesus, we've got to make those count then, haven't we? I, I think I'm going to do it. Um, I think we definitely will do that. And then let's sell anything we're not using. Yellow flight helmet gives perception. I don't know that I'm about that life quite yet. Do you want to break any of this down? I pro I, I think not. I think we'll just sell a lot. Um, oh, does Shadow give AP? Is that it? Oh, no. Lightweight gives the extra AP. I see. Um, right arm. Do you want to take a little extra AP or a little... Okay, let's let's keep that one then. Sure. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of these. Shadow leaded. Yeah, no. Get rid of that. That's fine. Apologies if this is the wrong move to make, but, you know, I'm, I'm all right with it for now. Um, so some of this crap. Yeah, we'll put that one back on. Help out a little bit. How much money are we making from this? Oh, a good amount. This is not terrible. Salt gas mask. How much are you buying this for? Seven. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's not as valuable as I expected. Oh, God. Um, pipe auto pistol. You're okay. You keep that. Pipe bolt action. Pipe revolver. Pipe rifle. I assume if we just keep one of them, the best of the situation, we could just modify it. So DPS, in this case, they're all pretty terrible. I do want to keep a hunting rifle. Um... Well, let's keep that. They're all different ammo types too, right? So that's kind of what I'm going for here. That's okay. I don't think we'll ever use the double barrel shotgun. I could be wrong. You know, maybe they're like, they've actually got some range to them. unlike regular video game shotguns. Okay. And then uh, I think I'm good with that. All this is stuff to break down, right? So let's go uh, accept. Yes, please. Um, let's see what else you've got here briefly. Let's just have a look at your, your gun. Old Faithful. Double damage if target is at full health. That plus sneaking. How does it work? You sneak attack for two times damage anyway, right? So does that do four times damage while sneaking? If so, that seems potentially very, very, very good. Okay. Um, really what I'm looking for. Big boy. It's uh, double fat, man. Okay, fair enough. Missile launch combat shotgun. Sniper rifle. Oh, now you're speaking my language. And again, I feel like a sniper rifle is a bit more planty mush level of ballistics. You got, you got to, you got to think, you got to plan. You know, you got to be careful. I think that just suits him a lot more. Okay, we can't afford it. So you know what? God damn it, I'm going to afford it. Uh, pipe revolver, pistol, sledgehammer. Nah, this is all <laughs> barbed cane. That's funny. Uh, I think we're good. Thank you. Somebody was uh, saying that that last settlement that we went to. Um, hey, you're that vault dweller. Yeah. From the paper. Uh, that's that's me. Thank you. Uh, some people were saying that. That city that I stumbled across on the way to the Cabot House has, um, a power armor symbol throws me off every time. Um, it is normally a good trader hub where you get a lot of trade caravans turning up and stuff like that. We just haven't turned up at a time when there was no one there. Typical. Very typical. Let's dump all this stuff, store the junk, see if we can do any weapon modification. Because again, that's Planty's big strength, right? And then we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, store all junk. Yes, please. And then, do we want to just store anything else? Anything we want to save for later? I wouldn't say so. We're not doing terrible on weight. 109. It's obviously quite a lot. We've got a lot of weapons here. Do we need the sniper rifle and the hunting rifle? No, they use the same ammo. They use the same ammo. And the sniper rifle is better in every way. I suppose I could just break that down then. What is this spore music? <laughs> oh, like It's like the uh, galaxy map from Mass Effect, isn't it? 
Right, let's have a look then. Uh, I like that they've got it in brackets, what it is. That's very good for a uh, European like myself who knows nothing about guns. Uh, get rid of that. I think the, high, uh, the hunting, the, the sniper rifle is just a modified hunting rifle, right? Energy. Okay, let's have a look then. God damn, we can do so much stuff. Pardon receiver? Wowee. Oh, 50 receiver. Hello. Changing the ammo type to 50 cal. Yeah, I assumed as much. 64 damage though. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that could do something. Cal uh, calibrated powerful receiver. Just the same amount. Of, uh, slightly less damage, but you haven't got to get such a rare ammo type. I feel like that's probably not bad to go for. What we should do before we do anything else, actually, is level up. We've got two levels, apparently. Cool. Okay. Uh, or two perks to spend, anyway. So, I, I, I love gun nut, but we're not there yet. I think hacker is, like, so super necessary. Sneak. 30% harder to detect while sneaking is kind of nice, isn't it? Fortune finder, we could really do something with, I think. Mysterious stranger. I like the idea that he has a mysterious, uh, a mysterious friend. Have to be out. Science, we got a long way off, but obviously that would be uh, an instant take any other time. Okay, um... To defeat your enemies, know their weaknesses. I actually like that a lot. I don't think it's super, super useful, to be honest. But I think it, it suits Planty Mush. Play the character. I think it suits him a lot. He, uh, 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 a guy with high intelligence and decent kind of perception. Actually, I think he's got very decent perception. Because he's wearing all the all the stuff that will give it right. Um, so, we've got... Oh, okay. So, tops on this side. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, 7 in, uh, agility, 7 perception, and 10 intelligence. He's a long-range boy. He's a perceptive, quick, wheezy little fella. Good little, good amount of luck, at least relative to everything. Obviously, he's an average amount of luck, but good amount relative to everything else he's got going on. I like this. I think we're good. Okay. Let's uh, let's get back to modifying. Sorry, I wasn't sure if I want to take the next level of gun or whatever, but I realize now I couldn't have done anything with that. Please tell me if I'm going about weapon modification totally wrong. Um, I think we just... what What's the dog doing? What's that dog doing? I think we'll just throw in Artem Receiver. Extra damage. It's a long-range weapon. Long barrel, of course, we're not going to take off. Full stock. Hey, that seems a little bit more... Better recoil. That seems a little bit more appropriate. Medium magazine. What have we got here? Like, quick eject magazine seems... Probably not super relevant for a sniper, I suppose. Short scope. What Really, we're after a long or medium scope. What do we need for that? What is that? Science level 2, gun not level 3. Bloody hell. So, actually, it's quite significant, isn't it? Improved per shot recoil, improved recoil, reduced range. What what sort of range reduction are we looking at? Oh, it's like 0.5 uh, it's, it's like, what, 2%? What is that? It's, it's so little. I think we're just gonna go with that. I'm alright. <laughs> I'm alright with that. That seems good. Okay. Okay. Uh, did I want to look at anything else? I suppose we might as well. Again, I'm very worried we're gonna run out of ammo, so I'm just keeping a closer eye on this than, uh, Probably is necessary for this point of the game, but we might as well. I, I don't want... Listen, I'm going to be honest. I don't want automatic. This pistol's useless to me, automatic. What else we got? Hair tr trigger. Oh, dear. Hardened. I think getting the most out of our ammo for now. While we're, while we're poor, sweet little planty mush with no money. Probably not a terrible idea. Comfort grip. That's nice. That's fine. Glow sights. Well, we might as well do something with that. It's got a compensator. All, all this seems fine. All right. I'm alright with that. Sorry, I'm not going to spend too long crafting here because it's not massively interesting. So, let's go back to the Cabot house. Plants Mush can go meet his new best friend. Somebody said that uh, the bar owner in uh, Diamond City, that's right, was uh, worth talking to. I think they said something like the guy with the Slavic accent, despite the fact his family's from Revolt, and before that, there was obviously uh, very big anti European sentiment in America. But hey, these things happen. Was there a USSR in Fallout World? I don't think there was. But obviously, there's there's clearly big McCarthyism themes. You've all seen Liberty Prime. Let's go to the Cabot House. Maybe he's putting it on. What's well, like a weirboo except for Eastern Europe? She's not missing, mother. Do you know where she so is? So did you find out what happened uh, to her? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, there were some, uh, raiders and, uh, uh, I had to deal with them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh there's only one vial of serum. We're not gonna lie. He's, he's an honest, he's an honest sweet boy. Oh, good. 
I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Mm -hmm. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Is Wilhelmina his... his mother? I get that impression. Doggy? Jack, I'll take care of Be it. careful. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? Yeah, dear Edward. <laughs> Wilhelmina Cabot. You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders oh, there she is. It, I'm sorry to say. Imogena oh, and Lord, old man Parsons. This will help settle mother down. Imogene is Jack's sister. Uh-huh. You probably figured that out yourself. I did indeed. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. The rebel, From the time black sheep. Time she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Okay. Uh, do you even know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there. The third rail. Somebody there must know something. Wow. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Wow, what's, uh, what's a good neighbor? Uh, okay, I'll go to good neighbor. Okay. What if, uh... <laughs> what if, uh, old man Cabot is actually just Jack Cabot and he's given himself immortality serum to make himself younger? He, uh, look, listen, Plants and Mush would not strike up a conversation with that old lady. That's not gonna happen. Should I place a bet on that? No, I don't want to. It's mad science. Oh, maybe that's what the serum was, though. Immortality juice. Possibly. You never know about these things. Uh, right, so, sorry, where are we heading? Good neighbor. I was going on the third rail about Imogene. The irony is, today I woke up with a sore throat and a cold, which is why this episode's late. So, um, really don't have to do much with the planty mush voice. We need to make a little bit of money so that we can buy those fusion goals and go do Vault 81. I'll keep that in my brain. Really just going exploring for a little while probably wouldn't hurt. What have we got? Combat Zone, Green Tech, Rep Rick of the, the, the Thingy Thingy, College Square. Okay, well, I guess we'll head to Good Neighbor then. I'm sure there'll be combat along the way. Hello? Oh, you're not, you're not. That's not Codsworth. That's just a Mr. Handy. Sorry, yes, let's play during the daytime so we can actually see what's going on. Very nice and good. That seems like a good level for the sun. Let's sort these weapons out then. I want to put the sniper on four. Double barrel? Nah, let's keep the pistol. There you go. So, right, two, laser gun. Three, glow sight pistol. We like that. And then, so we've got medium. Oh, effectively, what we got is, is long range, medium range, short range, right? Good shit. I think for going through this sissy, let's stick with the pistol. Let's just keep keep the pistol to ourself. What's over here? Uh, hello, good good neighbor. This doesn't look like good neighbor. <gasps> look at all those red dots that just came up on the map. Over here. Oh my god! Let's shoot another dog. I was gonna say we could just go invisible. Jesus. Okay. Uh, don't you do that. Not the warfty. Heck and Borfo, no. What the hell? How did you survive? Oh! How did you survive being shot in the head? Oh god. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Okay, we're good. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello? Oh! That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people right there. Hello? Oh, come on. Okay. Maybe that sniper's not quite as strong as I thought. Silly me, I assume shooting someone in the head might kill them, but um. What do I know? <laughs> right, so let's take some stuff. This is always good. Like get a little bit of extra, extra, extra gear. Plenty Bush hates murdering. Uh, thinks is uh, abhorrent. Oh! Careful. Nice. Good work. It's shooting at the doggo. The doggo's taking the shots. Good shit. What was that? What is that? Someone's alive. Where are they? I'm trying to spot them, but I can't see them. Ah! No? I thought they were on the stairs. <gasps> they are on the stairs. Watch this. Oh, I thought that would kill them. Okay, well, clearly not. Hold on. Stadl. 
God damn you. Stubble. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor boy. Oh, you poor sweet boy. Oh, is he... No way you're still alive. Come on. This is nonsense. Turns out the sniper rifle isn't very good. We might need to do something better with that. Oh. At least we're getting some good crafting supplies. You're gonna have one day crafting moves. You're just gonna have to accept that this is this is your life now. You're just gonna have to be a murderous man. Okay. Just gonna have to be a murderous man. Let's take all of this uh, all of this junk. That's what I've got to get into the habit of taking all of the crap that isn't. That, that, that is totally weightless. Eh, mole rat teeth. What am I going to use mole rat teeth more? I, 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 for, I think to myself. It doesn't matter. There's no downside to taking it with us. So we're going to bloody take it. What have we got here? <gasps> Fusion's hell? Fusion core. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, it seems these raiders have uh, a good taste. <laughs> and he just like proceeds to throw up everywhere. Because, I mean, look at this place. Oh, it's a fucking nightmare. Actual nightmare. What have we got in there? 10 mil rounds. Okay. Well, that's something. That probably makes it feel a little bit better about having to kill all these people. I think I've looted them all anyway. <laughs> that's the important part. It's not going to waste. Okay, we're not going to kill people for no reason. Let's go and have a look over here then. Okay. Gone out. What is it? Open. What? What is open? What is this? Old corner. A bookstore. Ah. Uh, what was that? Oh! Ekin doggo. You're good. You're good, little friend. Oh, no. Planty Mush's ultimate task. Are we willing to brave feral ghouls for a bookstore? I think we haven't got a choice, have we? I think we do not have a choice. Be brave, Planty. The reward is knowledge. Knowledge is the greatest reward you could ever get. Okay. I recognize this place. Don't remember what's here. Don't think there's anyone in it. What was that? Racetrack advertisement. Uh, the October Classic, Sunday, October 31st, 2077 in East City Downs. Presented by Fallon's Department Stores in association with the Boston Jockey Club. Three world-class races with a total purse of 450,000 US dollars. Map updated. Very good. Okay, give me that. Give me that. What are, what are we looking for in here? Burnt textbooks. We're looking for... Knowledge. Don't worry, little dog. Don't worry, it's a little scary, but you'll be okay. Be brave. Be brave for Planty. To the books. Oh, I don't like these music cues. I keep thinking we're about to enter combat. Jesus. Do the books look particularly different? Something I'm looking for in here. There's got to be some sort of fancy loot. God, this is what I I hate. Panning around every frigging. Oh, what have we got? Okay, Boston Bugle. Panning around every bookshelf in the vague hope that there's something there. <laughs> okay, maybe climbing up here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We're good. But I have to crank up the FOV at some point before I throw up everywhere. Okay. Got anything for me? Desk fan. We love a good desk fan. That's nice. Thank you. And then, oh, nothing on there. Flag of America. We'll be taking that. Is that it, really? Uh, burnt textbook. I think that's it. Okay, there's almost certainly something I missed in here, right? But we're not gonna, I'm not gonna hang around all day in a bookstore. But beautiful. Who needs ray tracing? I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that. No problems whatsoever. <laughs> what the fuck's going on there? <gasps> yes, please do let me know if I go into a location and miss something. Because I think it's very likely we've missed something in here. Because there seems to be nothing of any value. Oh, help wanted. Hello. Uh, Halocygen is seeking research subjects to insist in ongoing testing of non-lethal police and military technology. Hello. Music to uh, Planting Mushes is. Okay, we'll call it that then. That seems uh, decently well picked through. It's Fallout, so you'll have to forgive me if I expect there to be some sort of big reason to go in every building. They normally don't put buildings unless there is a very good legitimate reason for being in there, right? Okay. It's going to be a very long journey to get to good neighbor at the rate we're going. Okay. Come along, hacking Borfo. Ah, uh, turn around, hacking Borfo. What the fuck was that? Okay, hold on. Mash, mass fusion building. Oh, that seems good. Oh! 
Hello? Is that friendly or is that an enemy? We have no way to tell. Gunner conscripts. We definitely do not just st suddenly start firing at people who are potentially friendly. They're sh shooting at the super mutants. They're shooting at the super mutants. So this seems maybe somebody on... Oh, no, they're enemies. If they start shooting at us, right, that's it. Sorry. No holds barred. Great work, little dog. Finish him off. Okay, the dog can take that one out. Nice. Wasn't wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. Oh! <laughs> flailing around. Oh, for God's sake. This is some of the worst shooting I've maybe ever done in my entire life. Hold. Startle. Am I... Am I going insane? Okay, that's... Taddle. Maybe, maybe stop going for headshots. Very unnecessary. The dog can take her out. There you go. Mass fusion building, you say? Well, that sounds like the type of place that could interest Planty Mush. Fusion cells. Oh. Well. Fusion cells. Oh, God. We might not have a choice. I was looking for fusion cells after all. Ten of flame of uh, pistol. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, no use. Do we go in? The other problem with Fallout that I've got... Uh, it's, it's true of every Bethesda game. I never feel so inclined to explore places. Because I'm always thinking, what if I come back here for a quest later on? And I think that's quite a reasonable assumption with a lot of... Oh. Uh, a lot of these games. Okay. Do it for lasers, Planty. Do it for lasers. Ah. Uh. Triple caution. There's definitely someone in here. They apparently can't see us. That's good, because I can't see them. Oh, they're over there. Are they they're in the they're in the cafeteria room? Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. It's okay. Wait. Steady. Detected. Calling up very well. Oh, it's so dark. Can you even see anything? On youtube.com slash. Okay, that was pathetic. That was really really just awful. Hold on. Nice. Honestly, we've got the lasers to justify this. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Not the lasers to justify that, we don't. You've got to be a little bit more accurate if you don't mind, Planty. Oh. But they all seem to have a lot of lasers. So if we can kill them in one or two shots, full refund, baby. Let's have a look. Hello. Laser pistol. Make sure we're taking all of those. Are we safe? We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're good. Whew. <laughs> he's not brave enough for this. No, but he's got a very legitimate reason to be here. Lasers. He loves lasers. I mean, with the amount of people he's killed at this point, it's just kind of par for the course, really, isn't it? This is just his life now. Cam box, fine. Enamel bucket. Give me that bucket. Give me that blowtorch. Give me that lantern. <laughs> Anything not nailed down is going right in his pocket. That might get quite annoying whenever I crouch. He does the little, the little beeps and the boops, but that's okay. Ooh, ah! You need to improve your security, Raiders. Give me those. Pack of the cigarettes. That's fine. Oh, delicious deviled eggs. We love deviled eggs. Give me the telephone. <laughs> I think Blanty might be a hoarder. I'm sorry to say it. Good lord! Everything not nailed down is coming with him. Boom, we'll take those. I'm not taking the hunting rifle. Unnecessary. Apparently, they only sell for like seven or whatever it was before, so we're good. Come out for hot plates. It's Planty Mush's nickname. That's what his wife calls him. Oh, she did. <laughs> right away. And it's just fucking junk. Let's have a look at the terminal. We've got to look at the terminal. Have to look at the terminal. Company Intramail. I'm not reading all of these. Order your very own Mass Fusion branded hats, shirts, shorts, swimsuits, umbrellas, neckties, cufflinks, socks, tumblers, shot glasses, coffee mugs, and more. Please see Eric Roranoke for in HR for details. And then, due to the unfortunate sit-in protest, the main lobby by members of the public, new security measures are being implemented immediately. Please be sure to carry your ID card with you at all times to stay within your designated areas. Do not exit the building using any other door provided by those uh, standard exits. Do not provide anyone with your login passwords or your terminals. Okay. All employees are invited to celebrate the 2077 holiday celebration. We'll be holding the festivities on the roof of our main headquarters. Brilliant. Okay, so, uh, big hint there. We are looking for an ID card. Keep your eyes peeled. You got anything in there for me? Has the FOV gone a bit weird, or is it just me? Uh, stand by. 
That's better. I just kind of zoomed in and got stuck, I think. It certainly felt that way. Oh, that's so much more comfortable. Thank you. Big brain time. Give me those pencils. That's an auto hack. Ah, oh, lovely. Protectron control. This is what we need. Um, law enforcement. Boom. That's what we like. Are they going to attack him if he doesn't have a security card? Um, activate the turrets, obviously. And then um, activate the protectrons. Worst case scenario. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Worst case scenario, we shoot the protectrons. They're not bothered. They're not bothered by planting mush. Yes, I have awoken you. I am your leader. Oh, excellent. Okay, I was a little worried they might immediately start blasting him. It's a Fallout, Fallout 3, right? It's Fallout... What the fuck did you just do to my dog? It's Fallout New Vegas. Well, they're like, oh, I'll present your ID card, otherwise you'll get immediately terminated. You be careful with these things. Do we go around here? Leave no stone unturned. You never know where there might be more lasers. Okay, it was the same stone. Mabel, vicious snarl. Okay. Are those my turrets? I mean, I turn the turrets on. <laughs> okay, the turrets are not friendly. That was a mistake. The turrets are not friendly. What about the protectrons? Are they also... What the fuck? <laughs> Thank God we were sneaking. Otherwise, that would have been the end of Planty Mush. <laughs> oh! Jesus. Okay. What are we up to? Hold on. What are we up to in terms of ammo? Good. Like, good ammo. God, that's bloody loud. Good ammo. Level 12. That's what we like to see. What, what was that? Oh! Oh, does that, like, not stop? Okay, we're good. I did click disarm on it, but I presume when it's already um, conductive, probably not the best time to try and disarm it. I hope they're not talking about Planty when they say that. Oh, I remember why I reset the FOV. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. Uh, <laughs> it makes the pit boy quite far away. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. You know, these things happen. I'm sure there's a way to get better FOV without the uh, pit boy being in next week. Uh, let's take some purified water here. Oh, what about the fountains? I thought I could just drink from the fountains. Great work. Good hack. Attention. Fugitive should be considered armed and dangerous. I think the protectrons have turned on Planty. They have. Oh, dear. Um, it's actually more damage shooting the torso. Move over slightly. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, just, just shoot something, Planty. Good shit. One more. Okay, we're going to just do that manually. That seems a bit unnecessary. Oh, we are making bank on fusion cells. It's going to solve one of my big concerns that I had. Okay, that's all good. So I wonder why it gives you like, oh, here's 30 seconds. After that point, you are dead. Gunner's camo bandana has a dog symbol next to it. Which I think means only one thing. So those have got to be turrets that are online, right? Oh, no, it's a conscript again. That was a thing of beauty. Careful. Can't even bat that thing. Jesus. Oh! <laughs> that was haunting. <laughs> no! No! Okay. Why don't we leave it there for today? <sighs> that's my bad. Okay, that's my fault. I can only apologize. Thought she was dead. Thought she was dead. Learned a very valuable lesson here. Uh, quick save. More frequently. That's the valuable lesson. Thank you for joining Planty Mush. At least we made some progress with the with the Cabot quest. And then we've got some laser ammo from here, and it's all going to be fine. We've got to do it for science. Always pursue science. If there's scientific curiosity, Planty Mush is the man for the job. I feel like he's got to get a little bit more confident now and again, right? You've got to start pursuing our own goals now and again. We're not just everybody else's lackey. He's certainly proven that he's the capable one here, so... I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy to keep exploring for a little while. Thank you for joining me. It's freaking missile launches every time.